A 0.20 kg glass cup at 20 degrees centigrade is filled with 4.40 kg of hot water at 90 degrees centigrade. So here is a glass and you pour water of 90 degrees centigrade from here which is 0.4 kg. This glass itself is at 20 degrees centigrade and having mass 0.2 kg neglecting any heat losses that means this system is following the um, principle of calorimetry to the environment what is the equilibrium temperature of the water our goal is to find the equilibrium temperature which is capital t that is what so according to the principle of calorimetry if this is the system right glass and water here if it is not transporting from uh, this system to the environment or environment to this system then net heat transferred is zero that is the principle of calorimetry so let me write down the principle of calorimetry the net heat energy transferred is zero so this is principle of calorimetry if t is the final temperature of this system this water and a glass then we can write down the amount of heat uh, transferred from the water possessed by water is qw which is amount of heat of water and amount of heat of water is qz so this sum should be zero because heat is not transferring from this system to the environment so we can break it down into the uh, masses of mass of water a specific heat capacity of water and change in temperature when mixing with glass w okay and uh, uh, same thing can be done for glass mass of the glass specific heat capacity of glass and change in temperature of glass this should be equal to zero so we have given mass of water which was 0 0.40 kilogram and also we know specific heat capacity of water denoted by cw is 4186 joule per kg degree centigrade and uh, temperature of water is given which is 90 degree centigrade also mass of the glass mass of glass is given which is 0 0.20 kilogram and specific heat capacity of glass is 840 we can get it from the table per specific heat capacity and the temperature of glass is equal to 20 degrees centigrade okay so these are all the data we have so uh, given all this information i can rewrite above equation like mw cw t uh, minus tw which is equal to mass of glass specific heat capacity of glass uh, and final temperature minus temperature of the glass so putting all these values here in this equation let me put all these values 0 0.40 multiplied by 4186 and then t minus 90 i'm just writing without units so that it will be clear 0 0.20 multiplied by 820 20 and then t minus 20 is equal to zero okay so we are using this way so i'm this is equal to zero okay so if i multiply this one 40 with 41 
86 this is giving me 16 7 pro point to forty, and then uh, this number multiplied with this 90 will give me 150696 similarly this is not equal to okay this is the plus similarly when i multiply this number with t this will provide me 168t and this uh, 0 0.2 multiplied by 820 to will give me 3360 is equal to 0 okay so once we add these common terms then i will get 18 42 point pro t which is the final temperature and adding this these two and taking other side will give me positive number which is 15 pro 0 0.056 okay so now i can rearrange this number divide divide this number to here and it will give me this was 56 divided by 1842.4 okay so if i divide this number by this one i will get the final temperature of this system which is 83.6 degrees centigrade okay so this is if i round it off this temperature is equivalent to 84 degrees centigrade so which is the final temperature of glass water system